Today I'm going to tell you about the dream lighting setup I've installed over my Red Sea Reefer Aquarium and it starts right now. Now this is not a sponsored video, I bought all the lights myself, so if you want more independent videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out when I upload. The lights I've bought then are two Kessel A500X LEDs, a Giesmann Stella with four ATI Blue Plus bulbs, and two Reefbrite Actinic XHO LED strips. Now install was actually easy enough, but it did take a fair amount of time. I had to start by taking the old setup down and removing it from the hanging kit. Then I unplugged all of the old lights and removed all of the cables. Now that was a much more time consuming task than you might think, because there were about a million plugs and cables that I had to take care of. But once that was done, I just lifted the new light into place and rested it on the top of my tank before attaching it to the existing hanging wires. And the rest of the time was spent getting the lights level and at the right height before another good hour of cable and plug management, more on which later. However, before I did the switch, I did take par readings of my old lights to ensure I knew how bright they were and how much energy my corals were getting in order that I could then take the same readings with the new light to make sure I'm not shocking my corals. And this was the first shock of the day. My PAR readings were far higher than I was expecting, and to give you an idea of just how surprised I was, here's my reaction. 660? Holy f**k! Tenuous 700, Jesus H Christ! Now actually the PAR readings I got are so high that I'm not convinced they're accurate. But either way, regardless of whether or not they are accurate, I made sure the new lights were set up at the same level or there or thereabouts. So ultimately it doesn't really matter to me if the number is accurate, just so long as the number before matched roughly the number after. So the new light setup then is an LED T5 LED hybrid, which you might be thinking is a bit weird. So to understand why I've done that, I'll tell you first about my old setup. For roughly the last two years, I have had two Evergrow IT5012 LEDs. They are the king of the Chinese black box lights, and because they are panels of LEDs, they cover pretty much the entirety of my tank. And as you'll know if you've seen my review of those lights, I do rate them very highly. So what was so wrong with them that I spent £3,000 on a new setup? Well, honestly, not an awful lot. Because they're large panels, they completely cover my aquarium, so give me really good spread and even par across the tank. And they certainly weren't lacking in power, so my aquapora corals were perfectly happy with the par they were getting, and the blues in the evening looked absolutely fantastic and completely illuminated all of my corals and gave a fantastic fluorescent look. And because I put two Kessel A360WEs in between the Evergrows, I actually had decent shimmer as well. So while that was an excellent setup, I've always missed how awesome my tank looked when I first hit it up with a Kessel AP700 and four T5 tubes in the form of a Giesemann Stella. The reason I sold that setup was because the blues of the Kessel aren't that deep, so don't give the real fluorescent effect I liked, and I really like the idea of having complete coverage of fluorescent blues for the Chernobyl effect on my corals. But now with this setup, I've fixed all those problems, and I now have the perfect setup for my needs. While I did have some shimmer before with the Kessel A360s, they were only 90 watts each, so the shimmer was muted and pretty much taken over by the Evergrows. The new Kessel A500Xs I bought are over double the power of my previous Kessels, so there's no chance the shimmer will get washed out by the rest of the lights. Now that begs the question of why I didn't just swap out my Kessel A360s for two Kessel A500Xs and keep the Evergrows in place. Well, in fact, doing that would have cost more or less the same amount of money as doing what I've done this time round. Now, if I'd have kept the Evergrays, of course I wouldn't have been able to sell them. And when I do come to sell them, it should pretty much cover the costs I spent on the Giesemann Stella and the Reef Bright XHO strips. So there wasn't really any cost saving in doing it that way. And I have some other benefits with the new lights I've got too. I really like the look of full T5 coverage with absolutely no shading, and I've now fixed the problem I had with my previous setup, whereby my Kessels weren't blue enough, by adding the reef brights, which give the full-on nuclear fallout effect. So will this actually improve my tank then? Well, as far as the tank actually looks, absolutely yes. I'll now have the full-on Kessel shimmer that I crave, a complete blanket of light that illuminates almost all of my corals, courtesy of the T5s, and of course the deep blues of the reef brights for evening viewing. But while it will benefit me, will it actually benefit my corals? Well, the answer to that is also yes. I've always tried to completely cover my tanks with lights, whether that's with a T5 LED hybrid, T5s or LEDs. And with T5s in particular, you get the diffused blanket of light that gently bathes your corals. 
and I've gone for four ATI blue plus bulbs in the T5, which are pretty much the gold standard for corals. And the spectrum they give off is pretty much the closest thing to perfection you can get in the hobby, with the possible exception of metal halides, which I just don't like the look of and which give off too much heat. And having the full coverage and full blanket of light will benefit my corals because they are now starting to grow, so they're shading off other areas, and this is about the best solution to minimizing the effects of that, so I don't have too many corals getting shaded out and losing out on light. So the new light setup will look great for me and it will benefit my corals, but will it give £3,000 worth of benefit? Honestly, the answer is absolutely no. My last lights were absolutely fine and were doing a perfectly decent job. And with SPS corals, there's a good argument to be had that keeping things consistent is better than changing them every six months for the sake of it. So while technically my corals probably will benefit, the reality is that the reason I've done this is for the benefit of my eyeballs, and I now have a tank that looks exactly how I want it. And ultimately, that is a good enough measurement for me of money well spent. But it's not all sunshine and roses, and there are, of course, some downsides. For a start, it is probably fair to say that this is not the prettiest light setup you've ever seen in your life. In fact, it is probably one of the ugliest this side of a metal halide. While I previously did have two panel LEDs covering the entirety of the top of my tank, they were quite minimalist, so they didn't look too intrusive. This setup, on the other hand, is far from minimalist, and frankly, it's absolutely massive. But ultimately, you don't look at the mantelpiece when you're stoking the fire, so I don't mind. And earlier I mentioned I'd come back to plugs and cables, and this setup requires six plug sockets, which is frankly absolutely crazy. And that was a genuine consideration for me. While I do just about have enough spare sockets, I really do mean only just, and that doesn't leave me a lot of expansion room if I want to buy other equipment for the tank. And T5s also give off a lot more heat than LEDs. While the British summer isn't exactly scorching, it does still get hot enough to push my tank above the 25 degrees it sits at. And with the T5s now pumping out even more heat, I'm gonna struggle to control the heat over the summer, so I'll probably add a couple of degrees to my temperature over the summer so it stays nice and stable, rather than dipping and peaking really high when it gets really hot. And while I've more or less got the light intensity, color, and photo period set up the way I want, I am still doing a bit of tinkering, and I'm currently finding that four blue plus tubes is a little bit too much for me, so I'll probably play around with the bulb combination to make sure it looks absolutely spot on, and I reckon I'll probably end up with two blue plus and two coral plus. Ultimately though, I absolutely love the new setup, and it now makes my tank look pretty much exactly how I want it. And lighting is probably the one area that can make an instant and significant difference to the way your corals and fish actually look. So while I am making a big change now, my hope is that now I think I've got it perfect, I won't need to change it again. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week. And until next time, happy reefing.